to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to be a very quick yes or no answer to whatever question you would like to ask. That means no situation cards, just the transparent tarot with a quick yes or no answer. Please remember, this is a general reading. Lots of people asking lots of questions, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings, thereby gift exchange, meaning I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift. Whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you'd like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at Terry's Inspired Tarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need or onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now, looking at today's quick yes or no reading, we are going to have a reading number one with the turquoise. Reading number two with the onyx. Reading number three with the topaz. Reading number four with the rose quartz. And reading number five with the azurite. Please select your reading intuitively. Your intuition is not going to lead you wrong. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump into these readings now. So I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number one with the turquoise. The properties of turquoise are creation, courage, and wisdom. Those things may have some bearing on your question, or they may just resonate with you in general. Now let's take a look at your yes or no answer. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot yes or no to the questions of group number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. All right, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. Okay, we start with the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands talks about things moving really, really quickly. It can also say that spirit guide messages are coming in fast and regular. Next, we have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles talks about a beginning that is normally material in nature. It has a positive impact on your material realm. Could be a new job or a shifting career. It's a beginning that starts something positive regarding your finances or your resources. Next, we have the world. The world talks about completion, completing a karmic cycle, completing something that's important to you, completing something that lets you make that new beginning. And then topping everything off, we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is about love, true, genuine, selfless, compassion, love. It can be romantic, but it doesn't have to be. It is very genuine though. It's the type of love that will release what wants to be released and will hang on to what wants to be held. It is very compassionate by nature and it can represent a person, you or someone you're dealing with. All right, looking at this as a yes or no, this is a pretty solid yes to whatever you ask tarot. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number two with the onyx. The properties of onyx are willpower, strength, and protection. Those things may have some bearing on your question, or they could just resonate with you in general. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no answer. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. 
Please answer clearly through the transparent tarot. Yes or no to the questions of group number two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay. All right, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. Okay, so we start with the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is about work, putting in your hard work. Normally, it includes being rewarded for that work, like with your paycheck, but it is basically focused on doing the work. Next, we see the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords talks about heartbreaking situations. Some kind of heartbreak could be the loss of something, like the loss of a job, since it's laying on top of the Eight of Pentacles like that. It could be the loss of a relationship. It's losses that cause heartbreak or situations that cause heartbreak. Next, we have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands reminds you to reconnect to your passions. Um, they don't have to be romantic passions. It could be creative passions. Um, if it's in your work life, make sure that your passions are involved in your day-to-day -day work. Um, reconnecting to your passions, following your passions is part of your path. Next, we see the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords talks about worry. Looks like with the way it's laid out, there's some kind of worry keeping you from reconnecting to your passions. And topping everything off, we have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords talks about an ending. The ending is over, it's done, and um, based on the way it's drawn, it's going to leave you feeling a little bit stabbed in the back, possibly a little bit betrayed. Okay, so looking at this as a yes or no, this is a pretty solid no to whatever you ask Tarot. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number three with the topaz. The properties of topaz are conviction, drive, and purpose. Those things may have some bearing on your question, or they may just resonate with you in general. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no, to the questions of group number three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, once more. There we go. All right, we'll get this to hold the cards. <clears throat> okay. We start with the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands talks about situations being very overwhelming. Um, feeling like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders, being overwhelmed by the situations in front of you. Next, we see the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups represents a proposal. Um, with the way his foot is touching the overwhelming energy of the Ten of Wands, it may be the proposal that's making you feel overwhelmed. Um, this could be a romantic proposal, like taking a relationship to the next level. Or it could be a work proposal, like um, moving forward to leading a team or something like that. Next, we see the King of Swords. The King of Swords can represent a person. If it does, the person is highly intelligent and action-driven. It could be you or someone you're dealing with, or it can represent a period with some challenges where you have to really use your strategy to overcome the challenge in front of you. Next, we see the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups talks about soulmates. Um, 
finding a soulmate connection, some of you in a relationship that's moving forward with regards to a soulmate connection or you're asking about soulmates here. The Two of Cups says there's a soulmate connection or a soul connection going on in the situation. And then topping everything off, we have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is about um, having a peaceful home life. See how they're kind of, you know, arms around each other, saluting with their cups. Like this is living in a peaceful, happy energy and sometimes it includes moving. I feel like the message out of this pile is that some of you have had a romantic proposal from a soulmate and it's a challenge for you because it's overwhelming and your guides are encouraging you that it's gonna be okay in the end. Everything works out okay. Now, as far as a yes or no, yes, there are some challenges, but the answer to your question does appear to be yes. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number four with the Rose Quartz. The properties of rose quartz are love, joy, and connection. Those things may have some bearing on your question, or they may just resonate with you in general. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot, yes or no to the questions of group number four. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna shuffle until the deck feels ready. Then I will cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay, all right, there we go. We'll get this to hold the cards. All right, interesting. We start with a proposal, the Knight of Cups. <clears throat> it is taking things to the next level in a relationship or possibly a job, taking things to the next level, um, kind of moving up the ladder, being promoted in some way. It is a proposal to, um, to increase things. Next, we see the Two of Cups, which talks about soulmates. Um, the soulmate connection, possibly... Uh, taking a soulmate connection to the next level. Next, we see the Five of Wands, which signifies there may be some fighting. Maybe you guys are fighting against the connection um, or some fighting just in general in your realm. Next, we see the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is, um, it is about stability. It talks about stable foundations, having stable material foundations, and it says not to cling to your money too tightly. Don't let that abundance blockage seep in. Topping everything off, we have the, you know, we're going to take seven this time. We've got two more. The, um, the four of wands is, uh, it's about doors opening to things you want to commit your energy to. It is one of the marriage cards in tarot. And um, it is, you know, it's saying that this is a desire to commit your energy, energy. Next, we have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords talks about fear with regards to the future. How's it going to play out? How's it going to work out? Is it going to be okay? Don't let those fears stop you from living in the now and choosing what your heart leads you to. Topping everything off, we have the Lovers. The Lovers was just the very next card after the, the Six. And you've got the Two of Cups and the Lovers now. Many of you dealing with a soulmate and um, wanting to commit your energy, but being afraid because there's fighting or whatnot. It is not always super easy to enter a relationship with your soulmate. Now, um, with regards to this being a yes or no, it is definitely more positive than negative. There's some fighting and some anxiety and things in there, and I'm talking about feelings and whatnot, not any kind of diagnoses. Um, this is, you know, those are the feelings that are part of this, but there's also soulmates and the idea of wanting to commit your energy and, you know, um, taking things to the next level and very positive kind of passion, emotion, energy there. 
So um, this does look like a yes to whatever you asked, Tarot. Even if it's not about a relationship, the answer to your question does appear to be yes. All right, that is all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number five with the Azerite. The properties of Azerite are inspiration, understanding, and intuition. Those things may have some bearing on your question, or they may just resonate with you in general. Now let's take a look at your yes or no answer. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the transparent tarot. Yes or no to the questions of group number five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm going to shuffle until the deck feels ready, and then I'll cut and we'll deal straight from the top, taking three to six cards. That will get us our yes or no answer. Okay. All right, that's good. We'll get this to hold the cards. Okay. We start with the hermit. The hermit talks about spending time alone. Now, um, this alone time can be used for meditation, for spiritual growth and connecting to your higher self, but it is a period of solitude. Next, we see the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, <clears throat> it talks about um, challenges that you may be dealing with and it says that you'll overcome them relatively quickly so there's no need to worry but there are some challenges in your realm that you have to deal with next we see the two of swords the two of swords talks about a stalemate not seeing your way forward not seeing how you're going to get past the current situation next we see the fool the fool talks about a beginning jumping in and starting, going for it, moving forward, um, starting a significant beginning. Next, we see the hanged one. The hanged one talks about delays and um, the need to shift your perspective. It also um, here is represented by a chrysalis, so that it may represent a transformative period for you. And then topping everything off, we have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles talks about making decisions with regards to money. How am I going to pay my bills? What am I going to do with um, regards to my money? How am I going to make ends meet? Kind of walking that financial tightrope. Okay, so looking at this as a yes or no with the Hermit and the Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles and um, the Hanged One, this does look like a no. There is an encouragement here to uh, remember that this is a transitional period for you and to move forward to your next beginning, to use your alone time to your best benefit. But as far as your question, the answer to your question either appears to be not right now or no. All right, that's all I have for reading number five. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.